Hello everybody and welcome to another video painting tutorial. Today we're going to tackle the Wing Knight from the Dark Souls boxed board game. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is undercoat your model with some sort of spray primer or airbrush. I've done it in black, but you can do it in any color you want. And then the first base coat we're going to be applying is Greedy Gold from the Army Painter. Uh, you're going to want to cover all the armor paneling with this, as well as his large halberd weapon. Once you've base coated all of his armor and the halberd, what you're going to do is use gunmetal from the Army Painter to base coat the chain mail that he has. He's got some chain mail around uh, his, his waist. And you're going to want to use a slightly smaller brush so you don't get into anything that you've already painted. And then you're also going to want to use this gunmetal color to paint just the, the, sh the, the angled edge of his halberd blade. Just the angled edge on both sides. The next step is to paint in the cloth that he has around his waist, his chest, and over his left shoulder pauldron. We're gonna use Ultramarine Blue from the Army Painter. Now this is a pretty thin paint, even if you don't water it down, especially if you're going over a darker color like I am going over this black primer. So it's probably gonna take two to three thin coats of this to get good coverage. So uh, I usually keep a hair dryer or some sort of heat gun on hand just to speed this part up, get your first coat on, uh, you know, blow dry it so that it dries quickly, get your second coat on, and if you, if you need to, get that third or fourth coat on. The next step is to use Rune Lord Brass to paint the haft of his halberd weapon. Next, we're going to paint the belt that runs around his waist using leather brown. The final base coat is going to be Thondia Brown, and we're going to paint this on his pants, which is underneath his armor. Now we're moving on to applying the shades and washes. We're gonna start off with Dark Tone by the Army Painter. And you're gonna be applying this over the cloth and the chain mail. Make sure you use an appropriate size brush so that you don't accidentally get this onto other colors like the belt or the armor. Once the shade is completely dry, the next wash we're gonna use is Strong Tone and we're going to be applying this to the brown colors. That's gonna be uh, his pants that he has, as well as his belt. Next, we'll wash all of the armor and his weapon, including the handle, with a two to one mix of contrast medium and Gulliman Flesh contrast paint. And with that wash dry, we're about 95% done. If you like what you've seen so far, like and subscribe to the channel. The last step is going to be to paint the base. You can do this in any color that you like, uh, as well as filling in the hexes with any color that you like. I'm gonna be going with just the basic matte black. And with that, the wing night is done and it looks really cool. Hope you enjoyed the painting tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.